Hi, welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Kelsey. I am a voice actor in Chicago, and today I will be reacting to I Built an Unethical Zoo Where Nobody is Safe, a uh, Planet Zoo by Let's Game It Out. And this was suggested by SLFan68. So thank you for the suggestion. Um, I grew up playing the heck out of Zoo Tycoon. I've tried to download emulators to my laptop to try and play it, but I need a beefier computer that is not a Mac to do that. So I'm so excited for this. Thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. And yeah, let's watch. Josh, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're checking out Planet Zoo today, which of course Amazing. is a game where you get to build your own zoo theme park thing. Developers, thank you for a key. I'm sorry in advance. Okay, sandbox, let's do this. Select yes. a biome. We have our choice of a bunch of different types, but we're gonna go with tropical. I feel like we can put a lot of animals there that aren't supposed to live there. Name zoo, <laughs> habitat of suffering. Amazing. Yeah, you'd go to a zoo with that name, right? Oh my God, look how picturesque it is. How do people nice. even get to this zoo, actually? I'm not seeing any like existing roads or freeways. Well, I don't know how it happens, but it looks like this is the building that brings our guests. Like, if we go cool. in here, what are we gonna find? Well, these look like teleportation pads if ever I've seen them. <laughs> I guess we'll find out soon enough. Step one, we're gonna build a beautiful zoo. I love that the game lets me click on existing trees, which means we can just move these trees wherever oh, we nice. want. Maybe put them over a... Whoa, what's happening here? Can you set them like that? <laughs> oh my god, wait, what is this tree pivoting off of? Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. Is it pivoting off of a bush? Hold on, I'm let's so put this happy. out in the daylight and do some testing. <laughs> Please Why? leave Why them that way. Why is this a thing? Let's just put this right here like that. Well, this is just great, <gasps> isn't it? Like, look at the kind of stuff I can already do. What a park this like a is cool going to be. We'll move that stuff off to the side for now. What we need to focus on first is making a great entrance so that our customers... I will say with all those worlds, Zoo Tycoon did have an expansion pack that I made my parents buy where you could build a zoo on the moon or Mars. Disappointed that this doesn't have it, but that, but oh, I'm sure it has a lot of other crazy stuff. Customers are gonna be excited to be here. We got all kinds of fun tools down here like barriers and habitats. Nature, huh? A lot of stuff going on in here. Oh, hello there, you look like a tall drink of water. This gives me an idea, a very pointed idea. How far can I take Why this? Can okay, I'm already that? loving this game. This terrain placement ah! thing is something else. Like, can you imagine entering the zoo? And the first thing you see as you pass the run. turnstiles is the word run. That's crafted amazing. impossibly out of trees. I don't know, seems like my kind of zoo. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up I some paths. That. We're gonna start with this beautiful palace Ooh, tile, really pretty. make people think that they're entering something super luxurious. And then we're abruptly gonna switch to this dirt road <laughs> with these little wood nubbins for railings. I wonder how much people are gonna be willing to follow the path. Like, are they gonna have to use this or will they be smart like, enough to just be like, like no thanks, I'll just jump follow. it. I guess there's really only one way to find out. Okay, that seems sufficient for now. But before we build Great. our first exhibit, one of the things we have to do is build a bunch of required stuff. Like like a workshop and a vet surgery thingy and a trade center, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna select our staff only paths for that. Do a little offshoot, restricted. just run that way far away. <laughs> yeah, that seems good enough. Look at all these prefab buildings the game makes for you. Wow. Like we got these nice looking standard ones. Are these adorable ones with the flowers the outside? Cottage. Or these um themed ones? Now me, I think I might be partial to these ones. I'm a big fan Ugly. of where you can see the insulation just exposed to the outside like this. So what the hell, let's go with a so little nasty. bit of everything. Thing. This is our trade center. Here's our East Asian quarantine center. Cool. Here's our beautiful staff room, which, wait, can I? Will it let me do this? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, of course. Like, how far down can these go? Looks like they can go down <gasps> pretty far. Yeah, it's down there. You know, do I it. feel like that might be too far down. Let's see if we can't sort of do this by degrees. What about, like, right there? Okay, yeah, perfect. This is what we wanted, right? I don't know exactly how we're going to bring a path to that, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Okay, I think I've placed all the buildings that. we need to put down. All very normal, of course. We got oh, one living house. in this tree and Hope four buildings stacked on top of each other. Now, the real question is if we can attach it to the path. Yes, yes, we can. Couldn't be more simple. 
cool. You know, if you need to get to the veterinary, you just take this path out here, go all the way across this, actually, this platform, down to these beautiful stairs, so and then you have your choice if you want to go to one of these other beautiful buildings over here, or if you don't, you can just head on down this path, down one flight of stairs, and then another flight of <laughs> stairs, and then it'll take you all the way back to the hellish zoo. Wow. Oh, and this old thing, super easy to access. You just take this path right down this big tunnel I dug out, and then you just follow it out till you see the sunlight, stuff. and then you just march your way down the path back over to where all the other this buildings so are. Cool. Too easy. And because the game told me the customers don't like seeing all of these buildings, we'll just put two big trees <laughs> on the opening right there. There we go. There it's go. all secluded now. Customers will never be able to see it. No. Okay, we're off to a sweet never start. See Let's the do Disney the next Monterey exciting part. Thing. Animal trading. The game's got all kinds of stuff. Camels, <gasps> tigers, wildebeest, whatever so the hell that thing is. I don't know about you, but I'd like to see giraffes first thing when I get into a park. So I'm gonna buy all four of these, and I'm gonna take all of these factors not into consideration at all. Turns out Immunity. I can buy a lot more than four. Sky's the limit then. Okay, I've got 30 giraffes in my animal storage. Not exactly sure where that animal all storage giraffes. is, but let's not think too hard about it. Okay, now we need a nice, lovely place for our giraffe to live. Ooh, that looks nice, doesn't it? And by that, I mean that tiny little square right there. Let's see, so for oh, no. barriers, I feel like the perfect thing to keep giraffe in is this hedge maze, yeah. Build a nice little thing here. Okay, there we go, it's perfect. And we are gonna need to put a gate because our people need to get in and out of here. I love this big, heavy security door <laughs> on a hedge wall. Let's do it, let's put it's a giraffe good. in there. Delivery schedule, this is gonna be great. Okay, where's the giraffe? Oh, right, I need staff. Ugh, do we need to fill all these positions? I hired a caretaker who I think is gonna go into that Running. tiny little shed and bring out a giraffe somehow. I'm assuming the giraffe is in that box. Oh boy, here we go, dropping off the giraffe. Ta-da! Whoa. And that's how that's giraffes a fun are made. Animation, Look at though. that majestic creature. You know, I'm starting to worry about the size of the habitat I made here. I think we should probably do some adjusting. So let's get rid of these walls. In fact, let's just get rid of all the walls. Let's make a better space for you. Will the game let me do this? <gasps> <laughs> oh. I feel kind of bad, but it's oh. really funny. How do you like it, big guy? Uh oh. No, I guess it didn't like that too much. Can, Can I just back unbox in the box. it again? Oh no. Hey guys, I think we broke the matrix. Okay, take Whoops. two. That seems better, right? <laughs> just a little bit less space. Yeah, he seems oh. fine. In fact, according to the stats here, he seems to be perfectly fine with his habitat. And not a moment Good too soon, our first group <gasps> is here. Whoa. Aerial handling so staying on the people. path. Wait, what? Broken barrier, animals may Broken escape. Barrier. Traff, what did you do? He kicked, oh, he's hey, kicking him. that. You leave me no choice, we're going straight to red brick. And for that outrage, we're gonna take away some of your space. How's that gonna treat you, huh? Oh. Yep, he's pretty <laughs> indifferent. These people here seem determined to see the giraffes, even if it's gonna take them all day to get there. Meanwhile, we've got some What's happening? Of course they're eager to see the giraffes. That's the only thing the there. The protesters, I can't imagine why. I think he has so little space he can't even turn around. Aww. He's just stuck like this. Well, can we add another one then? Delivery scheduled, right. only one way to find out. Oh, he doesn't have a social group. That's okay, that's gonna be changing soon. Do you see that tiny little blur over there? That's our person eventually <laughs> bringing you a box. friend. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, buddy, I've got your social circle Woo. right here. All right. Yeah! <laughs> See, now this is the zoo I was picturing. Protesters, I don't think you need to worry. Nobody makes it through the crop circle anyway. <laughs> Everybody kind of gets to about like, I don't know, right here. And then they're just like, nah, too much walking. I know we came all this way and paid to get in here, but whatever, let's just go home. All right, I we're need done. more people to see this exhibit. So if people give up like right around oh, here, their faces then are let's creepy. put some refreshments down. They're probably just getting all tuckered out. We'll put a food shop right next Cheap to beef. it. Yes, wave to the people. I don't suppose a third giraffe will fit in here, will it? Hang tight, giraffes, you're gonna have a One friend. One way to find out. Okay, and in you go. go Watch go, out, go, fellas. Go. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no, we're creating like a monster. Well, we can't I really stop them. now, can we? Let's move them all into the pen. While we're at it, let's make sure to hire enough caretakers to take Look care of the situation. That's right, Fully collect all the giraffes too. that are somehow in that tiny little building. I love looking at these guys and in the background. How many giraffes? Just like this parade <gasps> little of army. people coming. In you go, guys, the more the merrier. All right, let's go. <gasps> <gasps> oh, God. Well done, guys. The game's gonna crash. Something that is incredibly emotionally upsetting. This guy in the back is like, what the hell is all that? That's like the... <laughs> 
That's like the eldritch giraffe god right there. It's like looking at the reflection in a pool and then directly <laughs> into my nightmares. How can you people give up on wanting to see this? Do you really not want to see that? Oh, I bet you're I hungry, aren't you? You 29-headed hydra. Oh, they need it's like beautiful. a food cage. I guess that makes sense. Oh, no. Can I not put it in here? What about like right there, like right out of reach? Will that be good enough? <laughs> I guess Wait. we'll find out. Oh, and you need a water trough too? Come on. Why can't that go right there? Surely that'll be good enough. The giraffe oh, god's god. too big. Oh god, what happened? This one guy's like, told you what happened, you should have been paying attention. This is what you came here to see, right? A box doing some crazy magic and a giraffe <laughs> They're that's protesting hiding from it. you. And that crashed the game. All right, we're gonna start with just our one good boy then. We're Aww, gonna extend his it. pen around. He's actually gonna get a little more space now. There Whoa. we go. And now here's your food cage. How's it feel, buddy? Look at that, you're gonna have food now. You don't <laughs> care. What a shocker. I'm impressed that he can sleep so nicely. What with all the protesters around? Oh, look who's up and about. You feeling better? <gasps> actually, he's really upset. Hungry and thirsty. <laughs> buddy, your needs are right there. Don't look at me, go over to the can't food. Walk you don't him. have enough space to walk or what? You are so needy. Okay, can you move God around now? Oh, Oh, the there he goes, taking his first steps in his walk. entire life. Oh, nature, you're so amazing. <laughs> okay, now this guy's got food and a longing to return home. Listen, dude, <laughs> I'm kidding. not a monster. I'll help you out. I think what you're missing is some trees. Here we go. Lots of nice options. I'm sure that's what we meant, right? Hedge maze art. Here, Please. how would you like this in your pen? Oh, there you go, buddy. Look at this amazing foliage now. It's you just like escape. you're in the grasslands They're in Africa you. still. Oh, this is how you repay me? I think it's still alive. See, it's no. starving. It's that not dead. dead. Oh, wait, no, it's totally dead. Well, then why is he moving like that? Okay, let's try this again. Can't go worse than the last time. Oh, no. Oh, see what, what the hell happened to you? You just got here. How come you died? Oh no, what's happening? Who knew there'd be so much animal maintenance in the zoo? Round three, Who try knew? to live this time, okay? I do still have all these other giraffes though. Yeah, so let's get you some friends. And, and by friends, I mean giraffe that enjoy a much larger space than you have. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Giraffe Let them all hierarchy. roam free-ish. Just giraffe after giraffe after giraffe. Well, we know what happens to the old ones. 11.4 years old, died from injuries. injuries. You mean from being in a crate too long? Look Probably. How much space they have. And I mean, only one set is oh, fighting, fighting right now. I like how this game tries to give like a reasonable amount of space to the animals until there's not enough space. And then the rest get mashed into a single space <laughs> destined to be a monster forever. That's their okay, god. so I kept adding giraffe. It's getting a little crowded the in here. The game god. claims that we have 163 animals in here. I don't know. It doesn't feel like 163 to me. Probably because most of them are in this guy yeah. over here. Yep, they're he's in still the entity of I many. Bet this dude over here is so happy to have his own place. <laughs> he's just like, I see it. I'm not a giraffe anymore. More. Leave me alone. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. Let's help these noble creatures. Especially because if we don't, I'm pretty sure the game is going to crash. Let so let's go free. over to terrain. Let's start a jailbreak by pulling the ground up. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Goodbye, you brave soldier. Oh, he's being swallowed <laughs> he's up by the earth. About this. So my plan here is to raise the ground so they can escape over the Diseased wall. Diseased animal discovered. it's not discovered. really going according to plan. I didn't realize it would bury them alive. Ah, well. See, some of these guys know what's up. Even yeah. you dead guy, come with me. In fact, let's make you the highest up, up here. How high can this go? Pretty awesome terrain stuff you got going no here. Kidding. Remember in the beginning of The Lion King when they showed off baby Simba and everybody rejoiced and he was like, bleh. I mean, that's how I remember it. My God, is there like a limit to how high this can go? <laughs> okay, this I think I found no it. It flattens the ground at this oh, point. Like is. he was meant to be some kind of sacrifice. So let's not stop there though. Basically what I was trying to do before I went all crazy is I wanted to raise the terrain so that these guys could get out of here. See, like this. <gasps> this is what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, ready to escape? He just got swallowed by the ground. Like formed a cave around him and he's gone. If I'm gonna unpause the game now. Okay. Yep. Huh. Figures. At least the corpses didn't abandon me. So guess who just earned their freedom? Okay, new objective. It's imperative that we get this guy over to the public. We just gotta build up some speed. Oh yeah, almost there. Hey, what do you people think of Dead this? Dead giraffe <laughs> racing. <laughs> what do you think? Are these two here on their first date? Should they probably not turn around? They're like, yeah, oh they god, probably love like, that. No, get away from it. Oh, you people are lucky I can't raise the train on the path. Can I like raise the train and then bring it over like this? Oh, hell yeah. Excuse well, this gives me? me an idea. First, let's let these guys go. See, if I had had this instead of Zoo Tycoon when I was little, I would have never gone outside once. <laughs> free. Have fun, guys. Feel free to get out of here. Be free. Oh, <gasps> now you people are freaked out. They're My scared godlike of the giraffes. powers raising the terrain from the ground and hurling corpses wasn't <laughs> enough for you. It's not like they're dinosaurs. Okay, so the game is actually stuttering like crazy. So let's see if we can't, I, I don't know, bet. reduce some of this <gasps> issue. First, let's go ahead and get rid of this thing. <laughs> now let's level out all the ground because it's become clear to me now that the world is not ready for free roaming giraffes. Ooh, no. Box all animals. I like that option. Whoa. Yep, there we go. What a beautiful hat. 
happy zoo it is now. <laughs> okay, so based so on those nice. antics, I have I a new go. idea. You can't race train on the path, unfortunately, only around it. Or if it's high enough, you can build above it. And I suppose if you're a normal person, you can build cool looking things like this. That's oh, really, I, I want to go to a zoo that has We're that. We're going to build a column that goes about that high. That seems good. Switch to flatten to foundation. So here we go and give it some nice even ground. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yep, beautiful and perfectly normal. Don't worry though, it's just the exciting new site for my next habitat. Oh. And we're gonna make sure employees have a way to get there, which <gasps> we've done with this convenient little walkway here. So just convenient. more of the stuff you already know and wow. love. So what are we gonna fill Looks this like a with? Giant I figure water slide. a little bit of everything. Get some elephants in there, okay. some bison, camels for sure. Ooh, yeah, and some tigers. Yeah, pandas. Special delivery. This person ran a mile to get they have to, here. Yeah, they have all to, to deliver to so us. Far. One hopefully healthy buffalo Aww. and a cheetah and an adorable little uh oh. You sped off. Do you kill the. Oh, yeah, this is gonna go real well. Man, I didn't realize <laughs> black bears hated cheetahs so much. <gasps> or camels, actually. Why are they so fast? Black bears are a bunch of jerks. Around. This is just fantastic. The more animals you add, the more cacophony you get. I gotta be honest, I don't really understand the pecking order. <laughs> I pretty much just see everything running around hurting everything. I did do this as a child. I would, like, do cheat codes and download, like, patches and stuff from like random forums probably not good and just animal death battle else and we're gonna extend the foundation don't worry it's i've so got wild. a plan there we go you might be able to see where this is going i love by the way that we have Waterfall 1800 people visiting our zoo now and i'm sure these people down there are really sad they can't experience the battle royale happening up here <laughs> but i think we can probably bring the experience to them dead grizzly probably. you're a pilot program no pun intended okay there's the curled up corpse of the grizzly Aww, bear it's now got let's flies. just dig That's a sad. lovely little hole okay bye yep <gasps> there it goes and here it comes oh okay Almost a direct hit. We can do better than that. Just kind of rearrange. They're the so unaffected though. Is, right here we go. Just down you go. Seems pretty good. And oh, <laughs> did you hit anyone? Where are you? No, no one cares, huh? No well, one that's cares. Okay. I'll get this right the no third time. No one cares time. about the corpses raining the from the left. sky at the zoo. I think that should about do it. Hang in there, buddy. It's gonna be okay. Oh, no. Have a safe trip. And scene. Oh, no, it's no bones reaction. Now. Huh? Well, forgive me if I got between you and your gulpy. Well, you know, if they don't care, <laughs> I don't care. Let's go ahead and just open up the entire. <laughs> floor here and let him go pause. okay bye animals bye. i mean surely they're gonna care about this right oh now there's panic yes be in a state of panic but still follow all the paths oh i'm sure they're only panicking because some live animals dropped hence the boxes God, are people stuck? Well, now I'm getting really excited. Yes, keep running. Damn. Run from nothing. I love how all this chaos is happening down here. And up here, there's this one giraffe He's still like, out. not a me problem. Wait, did the protesters oh, I spoke get up too there? too soon. Okay, so I cleaned up all the, the chaos protesters and now got the, up into the are sky. Back. It seems like what draws people to your park is just knowing that animals are there. It doesn't even matter if they can get to them or not. And if that's <laughs> true, I wonder how many people we can fool into coming to our park without them ever seeing a single animal. Oh, this gives me an idea. Uh -oh. Let's see how far exactly can we go underground in this game? <laughs> so we're just digging straight down for a while. Here we are at the very bottom. This is as far as the game will go. I don't know why there's light down here, yeah, but I'm impressive. not really going to question it. But needless reaches. to say, this is where all of our animals are going to be. I put down some of these fancy lights. Will these actually help me see? Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Really starting to feel like home that down here. That actually looks really cool. Oh, yeah, cool. this is how you make the perfect zoo. Okay, I think our underground zoo is about ready to go. All staff and staff buildings have That's been relocated dope. down here. And we've built ourselves a couple of animal pens. Just a couple. Just I don't know if they're all here, but most creatures are here somewhere. Just all of them in their habitats. I use the word habitat lightly, of course. Everyone gets That's water, and everyone gets food. That's it. We've got something <laughs> like 60 employees down here. Unironically, the lighting on that camel was beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if they realize they can never leave. But that sounds like a them problem. But for the most part, everyone seems they to be getting to be along. Here. Kinda. Pretty sure that's what wolves look like when they want to play, right? Eh, well, I'm sure they'll work it out. Look, all I'm saying Yikes. is if these giraffe can figure it out, anyone can. Now that I've created my beautiful underworld, so let's check big. out what's happening in the overworld. Oh my, it looks pretty crowded up here. Whoa. Especially with the non-stop protesters. Not How do they even know about my underground zoo? But you know, 2,500 people all here to see nothing. Well, it seems like these stands over here are now just too far for them to go. For starters, we're gonna add a bunch more food stalls. Chief beef, just right all out over the, gate. the place. Okay, maybe people 
will like all these food <laughs> options available now. Oh yeah, it looks like we're getting people to go further and further. What is happening right here? Come on, can't you guys protest peacefully? Hmm, looks like we go no, to this uh, mediocre face here. Looks like guest needs are doing all right, except education. Ugh, stupid zoo people wanting to stupid learn. Luckily, there's buildings for that. Here, have this info shop. The most riveting building go. on the planet. Here's a couple of info shops. You're welcome. Okay, we're up to 3,100 people. And yet, so still nobody people. is brave enough to keep going. Let's see what else we can do on the information front. Well, we do have these lovely education boards. Maybe I can just put these down. Learn Here, about learn about animals. giant pandas. Hopefully, this helps the signal to noise ratio. <laughs> Without still seeing don't feel them. educated, huh? Not from that one sign? Okay, you know what you people need? You need a little upfront motivation. I bet that's what it is. So let's go ahead and create a nice little bunch of concrete barriers right here. Now, according to this zoo overview that I never look at, looks like <laughs> the most appealing thing is the lowland gorilla. Okay, people, cool. don't say I didn't do anything for you. We're gonna buy a bunch one of these gorillas, gorilla. okay. and we're gonna put More them in this little gorilla. habitat here for you all to appreciate. And by appreciate, I mean you're all gonna have to use your imagination, because I'm making the walls really, really tall on this. So you'll just Amazing. have to take my word for it that they're in there. I'm really just gorilla saving the guests for themselves. Unless you're looking for a fresh nightmare, then here you go. And listen, gorilla I know God. it's disappointing that you can't see in there, but maybe this sign will help everybody out. Might be able to hear them. inside. And then all <laughs> the exclamation points. Yeah, that's perfect. That's just what I meant. Gorilla inside. Oh, Very gorilla informative inside. here. We'll supplement it with another sign. Oh, beautiful. Gorillas are part of the animal kingdom. That's, that's educational. So Put it in the middle, smash it down, make sure nobody has any chance of reading it. Yep. Finally, this thing is actually helpful. Kinda. I don't know if that text is educating anybody. Okay, you know what? Fine. We'll put a window on this thing. I'll do one better for you. Let's just go with straight up glass. Ooh. Oh. This is what you people wanted to see, right? Bones, dead gorillas, and, you know, other stuff. I don't get it. Why is everyone still protesting? <laughs> okay, well, I can't figure out what these people want, so we're gonna go with a different route. We're gonna need to adjust our expectations for what we can hope from this crowd. By that, I mean find a way to get them to stay in the zoo for more than 18 whole minutes. So let's Ooh, rip yikes. this path out and start from scratch. Okay, clean slate. We're gonna use Beautiful. a little something we haven't seen before, which is transport rides. We can do an adventure tour monorail. or a dorky-looking monorail this Do dorky it. looking boat. I think we're gonna go with this dorky looking train. Okay, start it right off in front. So the goal here is obviously to make something so that when people have committed to getting it's on it, it's gonna take them a while before they can get off it. And I feel like this is gonna take a while. I knew we would use all this space for something, but don't worry, it's not all misery. I'm not a monster. There's not actually an island over zoo. here. <gasps> you know, floating in the sky as islands do. Actually, you know what? Let's not give everything away. Let's wait till it's done. Okay, I think we're about ready to try out this train cool. thing. Also known as my latest method of kidnapping people. Open the park. Oh, good. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, right everybody the chill. There's enough train to protesting. go around. Oh, boy. Are you people excited for an adventure? Run, don't walk. It's going to be an experience. All aboard the nightmare train. So first, the train goes up this giant disaster. Because you know how when you go to a zoo, you're expecting like roller coasters and stuff? So after Shaped traversing like trains, the giant no spiral, we find ourselves on this beautiful island where you can finally see something sort of zoo related. And by that, I mean a bunch of bones and poop. Because I had some elephants up here. It's a oh, pile it took of bones. me so long to build this thing that they died a long time ago. Here you go. Here's some vintage footage of them <laughs> running around all fancy free. Oh, there he goes. After that, we go through more nightmare rickety roller you, coaster. Buddy. Here's where you bask in the views before we get to something that's my personal favorite. You head on through this the hellscape down deeper into the earth, and then head into the darkness where no one can follow you. And this is when I fly the camera over to where it exits, precariously edit this track, delete this segment entirely, and now we're never gonna see those people again. Oh, but don't tell these people, because they don't know it, but they're in for a ride of a lifetime. So Especially happy. you kids up front. Have yourselves a grand time. So I think that's gonna about do it for Run. now. There is a hell of a lot going on in this game, and boy am I delighted to be a part of it. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. And just remember, if life's getting you down somewhere out there, there are drafts being held in captivity underground. Anything you want to say before we go? Okay, great talk. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's so fun. Like I said, if I had had that when I were little and obsessed with Zoo Tycoon, I never would have left the computer room. I'm aging myself that my family had. Wow. That is so, it, it turned from zoo tycoon to roller, roller coaster tycoon real quick. And I loved it. Well, thank you again for suggesting that, uh, that whirlwind, uh, SL fan 68. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, and subscribe for more content like this, and we will see you next time.